I'm going to read a Reddit post with the title, I think my girlfriend doesn't value me at only dating me, for reasons of cultural and financial stability. Guys, the subject of this post is a man who has been dating his girlfriend for 10 months. He is Indian and has worked in the UK for a while. Dated this woman. Everything is wonderful. He then overheard her conversing with one of her friends one day, dot as essentially stating that the sole reason she is with this man is that he is financially secure and able to provide her with a pleasant life for cultural and financial reasons. She is also Indian and she rarely gives him anything. She would give this to other guys because she doesn't respect them or anything. And you can imagine how hard he took it. A woman who is his girlfriend has a lot of feelings for her and believes he has a future with her is not someone a man wants to hear this from. Therefore, he is suffering quite severely at this point. And when I saw this guy, I was saddened, but it didn't surprise me in the least because it told me everything that I had already heard countless times through stories, articles, and other sources, as well as my own life experience, things that I knew had happened to people, and so on. When the carousel writing phase is over, a woman might settle for a guy who can provide financial stability and other things. To put it another way, settle for the nice guy and mention that she doesn't love him as much as she does other guys she likes. That's not a surprise. Even though it is brief, this is an effective teaching tool nonetheless. Examples of topics that many men would rather not hear about. Especially men who are in relationships with women with whom they believe they had hit the jackpot. After all these years, when the girls wouldn't give me the time of day, I finally realized that it was my turn. I finally acquired that pretty girl. She settled. This is not what they want to hear. Anyway, I'm going to quickly go over this, then I'm going to offer my thoughts on it, and use it as a lesson to teach guys not to make the same mistake he does. Give my opinion on what this individual should do. He begins by stating, I'm a first-generation Indian immigrant to the UK. She is a British Indian second generation. I came here when I was 23 years old for my master's degree. After that, I got a job and stayed in the UK. We met approximately 10 months ago, liked each other, and wanted to be together for a long time. We were officially together after dating for a month. For a month. After a month, you became her only partner. I already know a lot of what I need to know from that. That's what considerate men do. Those are the guys who get a pretty girl. She is concentrating. They say, I got her. I got a rope now, so hurry up. Because he is willing to settle into a relationship after just one month, this tells her that he probably is not very good with women. Because, typically, you only have one date a week at first. Therefore, possibly after four or five dates, I'm not sure. He already has a relationship that is all his own. He is clueless. However, that conveys everything she requires to know. Declares that things are going fairly well here. To make a long story short, up until yesterday when I listened to her talk with her best friend, she claimed that she was dating me for cultural and financial stability. Additionally, she stated, and he is quoting from her, that Indian men, in contrast to black and white men, are not very good in bed. Additionally, she stated that she would never reveal her admiration for me. Translation, he won't get the good things. That belongs to the other guys. After that, I was honestly perplexed, briefly wept, and took a short walk to clear my head. She had no idea. When I heard all of this, she was upstairs, and I was ascending. Sincerely, I'm not sure what to say, but I think I'll break up with her. I'm asking for advice because of this. That's it for now. Guys, when they're ready to settle, I've said this before. When they are prepared and have completed the carousel writing phase, 
They think, okay, I need to get a ring on my finger because all of my girlfriends are getting married and I can't be like my girlfriend, so I need to go look for a nice guy. They can choose a nice guy like that out of the crowd. No problem, pretty girl, because the considerate men have been waiting for years for their turn. If you just wait a little while, you'll discover that movies and television have programmed nice guys. You'll have the last laugh, and she'll be so wonderful and magical. The programming indicates that. All of you have seen this, right? Look, you'll probably agree with me. When they get that girl, they believe they've found their match. Also, it's interesting that she doesn't treat the nice guy the same way she did the guys she liked, the ones she had fun with when she was younger, and the ones she wanted to settle down with. But you know what? They refused to settle. The guys who presented a challenge, the guys who required her to work hard for them, and the guys against whom she fought for their approval. There is no effort required to acquire their approval because of the nice guys. They are evident. They enjoy the woman. They want her. Those individuals settle. Like this guy, they start relationships in a month. Therefore, why should she go above and beyond for that guy? To lure these nice guys in, they may initially receive a little bit more from these individuals. But that's about it because the nice guys aren't treated the same as the liked guys. They love them in different ways. They despise them. Can we just be real here? And this poor guy is yet another of these guys. It's really bad because you can tell he's really into her. And I feel bad for him, but I'm not surprised. He did, however, hear this. Also, I should add that I'm not Indian, so I don't know much about the culture. However, I'm going to guess that he was hoping to settle down with an Indian woman and that she was probably encouraged to have a nice Indian guy by her culture. She mentioned cultural reasons right here, and perhaps some of you can tell me from India. Hey, that pretty much covers marriages here, you might say. There is no genuine love there, nor is there any culture or stability there. Okay, but that's not what he wants. He wants a woman who will love him for who he is. Haha. <laughs> what should he do then? You need to learn or be entertained. Okay, guys, just a quick one. That concludes today. What should this man, in your opinion, do? Do you think it's necessary to confront her, explain to her the circumstances surrounding how he heard her say that, and see what happens? Or you can simply give her a reason, then walk away and make her sweat. That would be more fun.